Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at another Unreal Engine 5 short film MetaHuman that was done by a big studio. Super excited about this one. This right here is probably in my top three again, Unreal Engine 5 cinematics or short film, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and dive down. It's called the ACS's The Eye Kalanthek. That's how you, I don't know. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go ahead and get started. Press play. A Aaron Sims creative. Now what's cool about this is this is all rendered, as far as I know, all in engine. Alright, no post-processing was done, which is pretty crazy. One more day, Rex, and we're going home. Here you go. This is maintenance vessel ACS55. Go ahead and state your problem. Crash that. Drone, drone. I'm sending coordinates. Hurry. Copy on the fallen drone. Well, that is a meta human. Eye and face. We'll talk about that a little bit more. This looks incredible. This right here. <laughs> and look, I know people are getting tired of the Quixel Mega Scan rocks, but but just this one's good, I promise. Oh man, that looks so good. Trippy. Some Chris Nolan stuff right there. Preliminary survey indicates D2875 impacted something while scanning the planet Kalanthak for terraforming. Propulsion systems seem intact. I'm gonna try and get it back up and running. Looks like the orbital scanner's been separated from the drone. Most likely due to impact. There's debris leading to a cave nearby. Possibly the work of scavengers. Moving to investigate. Of course. It's a dark cave. <laughs> you gotta go in there, right? Eh? The music is fantastic as well. Of course. It's my last day and I have to go into a dark, scary cave. Let's just do this. Curious about those lens flares as well. They look pretty good. Wonder if it was added in post, but I thought it was all engine. I like the lighting on her, even though there shouldn't be any light in there. It's supposed to mimic the flashlight bouncing on her face, which looks pretty good. Love it, man. No, it's creepy. Ooh. 
Oof. Wait, what is going on with her arm hand there? I'm gonna have to look at that. That's weird, just going through the weapon. This is where that Maya IK would help. That looks nice. There's no way. Cool ship. That's my ship. I love the sweat as well on her face. Freaking score that music. Some Chris Nolan stuff, I'm trying to tell you. Hello? Hello? The comms are down. Okay, you need to send a message. Send for help. It's okay, stay calm. Just think, think. The scanner. I would have wondered who hit me. Like, you just got hit by a ship. Hello? Hello? If anyone can hear this, my ship crashed into a drone. I'm in a cave. There's a hostile yep. creature in here with me. I don't know where it is. I'm sending coordinates. Please, hurry. Receiving coordinates now. No. Love the eye light. Okay. So that is the short film, The Eye, Callan Thick. Again, definitely top three best Unreal Engine made movie I've ever seen. So let's go ahead and kind of go down. <laughs> there is this one part that I want to see because her arm kind of went through this here. Where is that? How'd you get all the way here? Yeah, right there, I think, is one of, like, a piece of it. You <laughs> see that it kind of went up. It's not easy to, to, to do that all in engine, by the way. Like, having two-handed weapon being animated all in Unreal Engine... That's a nightmare. That is hand... I mean, uh, uh, the way I would do it, obviously, is budget. Hand-to-hand -hand keyframe that hand there. So it's it's not... I'm not making fun of it, but it's just kind of cool to see that I'm not the only one having problems with that. And I think there's another one here, right here. Yeah, like her, her right hand wasn't in the right spot. But you can, you, can, you can pretty much get rid of that in Maya if you can figure out a way to do the... Arm IK or something like that. Some models come with that. But again, 
this is such a well done, well executed short. Um, let's talk about it a little bit. She is a meta human, so the character inside that uh, is a meta human, and and I read an article about this thing, and I'll share that in the description below as far as the link. Uh, the reason why they added a full helmet on her was really to just save time with facial animation. Pretty much same reason why I put sunglasses on my characters and sometimes I put helmets on them. So you don't have to worry about eye motions and animations like that because it takes a lot of time, cost time, and also co cost money. So that's the reason why they added that helmet and you can only see her eyes. I know it's cheating, but you know, and it's, and it's kind of cool because even big studios like this have to cheat in things as well. It makes me feel better you know, being a lone filmmaker in Unreal, I'm cheating, they're cheating, it's all fair and fair and square. So that's good. The model looks good. The acting was good. Now this is, and as you can see right here, whenever you're outdoors with meta humans, you're going to really, it doesn't look as good as if you were interior. Like whenever, and I talked about this in my course, whenever you have an interior like this, and you have a lot more control of the lighting, the meta humans look better. And you can see this in the short as well. Because like I said, as far as I know, this is all rendered in engine. Everything is straight out of the engine, which is incredible. But outdoors, meta humans and outdoors really don't mix well. But then again, they did a pretty good job with this piece, to be honest. Uh, the CG models, uh, the crash model inside man i i actually got a quote to make something like this similar to this in one of the short that i had planned and i think see if i can show yeah this right here i don't know how much it cost them to make this but for me i think somebody wanted fourteen thousand dollars to create a ship like this and make it look damaged again since this is a big studio it's really cool to see them use the resources because it adds so much to the short. Because this is sci-fi. I try to avoid sci-fi as much as I can because it costs a lot of money. And as you can see in my channel, I've been doing a lot of low-key, dialogue-heavy, story-heavy because I can't afford sci-fi yet. Because even though Unreal Engine is free, the assets like this right here, aging this and making it look damaged, that can cost a lot of money. So it's really cool for me to watch these movies that are being done by higher-ups because it gives me hope maybe one day I can get on this level. And it gives me inspiration. I watch something like this and I get inspired by it because I want to be where these guys are one day. But this looks good. The skin, you know, a little bit of sweat there. Really amazing stuff. I wonder how they did that. And like I said, they have an article breakdown on how they made this a little bit, even though there's not really a lot of behind the scenes videos. And as far as the body motion capture, if I read it correctly, this is an X-Sense suit. So I'm not sure if it was the Link, which is the expensive one, or the Awenda, I'm not sure. But if I had to guess, it was probably the, uh, the X-Sense Link. Oh, and then for the gloves, they use Stretch Sense. So that's the combo for the body mocap. Now, as far as the face animation, they used to control rig to animate this. This is all hand animation, which again, man, they must have some phenomenal animators because they did such a fantastic job uh, with animating the eyes and the face and stuff like that. That's really well done. I would never imagine hand animating something like this because it just takes so much skills and time. And again, the story was really good. This is really around the ballpark of my favorites, you know, like plot twists and stuff like that. This really is like a Chris Nolan Fincher stuff vibe for me. Really amazing script, really well done. And then this monster right here, this is actually available in the Epic Marketplace. This monster right here, you can download for free. This right here, you can download this for free in Epic Marketplace. Big thanks to Aaron Sims and his crew for allowing us to download this for free because it's an amazing... Uh, character and I it's pretty much it's I get pretty excited whenever they start sharing high quality assets like this because it really gives you a glimpse of what epic unreal marketplace is going to be one day one day you're going to have all these triple a assets in there that we can purchase and that's super exciting so that's that um a couple of things I'm curious about this rendering wise the renders look really good. Now, I'm curious to see if they did it using the MRQ, the movie render queue. Uh, it was in Unreal Engine 5, as far as I know. 
So rendering wise, uh, the shadows had a couple of flickers in there, which is really just I don't I don't know if they use the virtual shadow maps, but there's a couple of flickers in there in the shadows, and that's usually I've seen that when using virtual shadow maps. So I'm not sure if they did, but overall this looks pretty darn good. I am curious to see the render settings they have on this. And as far as I know, they also used Lumen for this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Check out the link in the description. I'm going to put the link for this video. Go ahead and like it and comment it, man, because this is, this is some good stuff. Like I said, this kind of stuff really inspires me. Even though I'm getting tired of the sci-fi spacesuit kind of movies, this is still a top three my top favorite movies that's made all in Unreal Engine. I know the vampire one that I made last week, they had Maya stuff mixed in there, so it's not completely in Engine. As far as I know, this was completely all in Engine as far as animating it. So well done to Aaron Sims. And again, thank you for letting us download that uh, amazing alien character because that's really cool. All right, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any questions, let me know. And again, thank you all for joining me in reacting to this Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman short film.